Hello fellow engineers and welcome back to Polybridge 3. It's a new week, at least in game, which means there's a new weekly, the sunken city. Let's hope it isn't as hard as last week's one. So we got 50 grand, we got road, wood and steel to play with. The description, watch out for possibly unstable support. Oh wow, oh wow. Okay, this level is pretty large, I will not lie. But to start with, we have this car here, which sort of looks like, did Homer Simpson have that car in like Simpsons Hit and Run? Am I is that the same car? I don't know. Anyway, distracted. Anyway, we'll press play. So you go and then you drive and then straight into the splosh. So you got to do a bridge over there. What is what is all this stuff? What is that? Anyway, we've got to get it all the way across to there. Okay, and then there's there's a dirt bike. When does the dirt bike actually go? I mean, it's, it's on the crane. Oh, it goes all the way across the crane. Okay, so the dirt bike should jump like over the top up there. Okay, so, so... So let's build a ramp for this longhorn thing. Okay, so that should do nicely for the first one. So let's have a look. Jump over there. Nice. And then, interesting. What is actually going on with this? Okay, so that is the not stable thing. So if I were to like add some weight to this, that does fall over. Okay. So I assume that means I can't use these nodes, basically. Basically. Which I don't think is a problem. Anyway, we need to go from down here up onto this. So is this like, just do another jump? So I've built a second jump. Let's see what the height is like. Okay, not quite. We may need another bit of road. And the trouble is, this is pretty vertical right now. It doesn't even hold itself. So since I'm not too fussed on the price, let's just build this all the way across. So it's resting against there. That should be plenty strong now. Oh, not quite. Okay, this just keeps breaking. I am sort of wondering, should I try and do, like, how's that? Oh, that actually, oh, that worked perfectly. Okay, so that means I probably don't need, like, any of that. So yeah, let's see if that still works. Hang on, what happened? Oh, oh, dear. Oh, no. Uh, can I, like, stitch these together, perhaps? Oh, yeah, I can. Oh, sweet. Okay, I've, <laughs> I've stopped that falling. Oh, but now it doesn't... Oh, now it fails there. Okay, well, I finally got most of this working. We've just got to do this jump now. Oh, my good. Look at that. Okay, so that gets absolutely shattered. So possibly need some sort of... Some sort of thing like that. Okay, we need to go way left as well. This is turning out to be a lot of bridge, but if I can get this landing to work, yeah, we should be fine. Okay, now we just bridge over the top, add some under support, and then hopefully this will, yeah, we'll get across. We did lose a piece at the start, but after a small tweak, that is sorted. We've just got to sort out this bike. So, ah, okay, the bike is ending up there. Not ideal. Why are we still here? Just to suffer. So let's just follow the bike. It's going up the crane. It does a big jump, lands down there, and then, oh my goodness, front flips down. So I probably just need to bring that down, which annoyingly makes this car do a much bigger jump. Oh, that's so annoying. <laughs> What if I add a flap of road up here to... Oh, wait. Oh, oh, that worked. Okay, I tried to add the road up there to, like, slow it down. But um, for whatever reason, that still works. What actually happens to the bike, though, as it lands? So it does a jump up there, lands on the ramp, forward rolls. Okay, got it. All I need to do, then, is just do a ramp for the bike to go up there. I'm assuming we make the jump that way. Yes, we do. Hopefully the bike will come back that way and oh, it made it. It did make it, but it broke the ramp. Let's just swap that with road. Okay, is that any better? Yes. Yes, we did it. Just ignore the sploosh at the end. We're in the top 48%. Uh, it cost me 41 grand nearly. The top person did it for eight grand. Can't be bothered to shave this one. So let's have a look in the gallery. So cheapest solution, 12 grand this one. Very small jumps everywhere. And oh, swing. Look at that swing. Because yeah, that was my really expensive bridge. Fair play. It seems like, yeah, most people have done a swing from the end of that crane. Makes sense. But then again, this game is called Poly Bridge. I feel like bridge building should be encouraged, really. Now, the highest budget ones are basically just doing a bridge between every single one. Remember, I did jumps there and there. Yeah, and fair play, we do have some, some nice bit of trussage going on. I do like to see that. I will not lie. But yeah, back to the campaign. Every single level is now done up to that point. Although, oh, this one. Yeah, I was slightly over budget when I built this bridge. Tell you what, though, putting three foundations in only cost 92 grand. So I'm pretty sure I could make a bridge possibly with the grid on that will do this one for under budget. So we just got a four span truss bridge.
bridge with steel around the outside because they are quite long spans. Uh, let's have a look. We've got the limo here. Remember, I put, I put this weight to make the longhorn go a little bit afterwards. So as long as the limo gets across, stress went pretty high. And I'm pretty sure this thing should weigh less. So hopefully we're okay. Yeah, looking good. Looking good. And we're on 158 grand, way under budget, which means finally all these icons are ticked and we can go on to a new world. These are all three sheep difficulty. I'll tell you what, I feel like we haven't seen springs at all yet. So let's go to the desert springs. So this one, we have a motorbike there, the chopper. And then we have a large gap with this pre-made for us. It's just like a little springy platform. So yeah, essentially we just got to build a ramp with our four bits of road. So something like that should work. Oh, worked fine. I didn't even realize there was a pillar in the middle. Where are we? Oh, we're in the top 14%. Not too bad. Or a first stab. Let's have a look at the stress. So looking at this. Ooh, a lot does go red. I think I can make that a lot smaller. Yeah, and then it's just a case of trying to make this cheap. Where do we actually land? Let's slow it down. So what I'm thinking, we lose that, that, and that. And try and do it like that way. That worked. That was way cheaper. 9,800. Top 3% now. Did we beat Tyler? Yeah, we did. So let's move on. Stretch bridge. Okay. Ooh, okay. What happens here? There's a light bulb in the background. Oh no, it's one of those. Ah, interesting. Okay, that's clever. That is clever. So we got to use that technique to get across here, do we? Because there is a plane, but also a star there. Okay, basically, if I do bridge up to that point. I mean, potentially add some more. Because if we're hanging from above, we're going to be able to hang a lot more bridge than you would normally expect. I think we can then do that sort of thing with a wall brace. All right, then we just truss on top. Then hopefully a spring on top. Oh, wow, that drops a bit too low. Ouch. Oh, we can't even, we can't change how tight that spring is. Okay, we may have to lift this bridge up. Yeah, quite a lot. One word, annoying. Thankfully, though, I can just give it a bit of a rotate. So is that high enough? Oh, yep, just about. Is it going to be strong enough to take this? He's got a washing machine on the roof. You see it's going lower. It went... Oh, I went too low. Still, I can probably make this cheaper and go lower by doing that, adding a spring like up there. So that no longer goes low enough. <laughs> Nowhere near the star. So instead, we just bring down this ramp a little bit. Uh, and question, did I even get the star the first time? I didn't actually see. Right, lower, lower. Lo oh, it doesn't go low enough to get the star. I didn't realize. It does make it across, though, so that's good. Right, so instead then, we bring these trusses down a bit. We should be able to bring the road down. Make a bit of a curve like that. Which is now a little bit too low. But after a little bit of tweaking and a loss of paint from the roof of the aeroplane, it squeezes underneath and that goes low enough to get the flag, which oh no! <laughs> The game tricked me. But then we make it across the other side. We see we're in the top 7%. Not too bad. 12 grand I spent. The top score, it, really? 4 grand? How did he go? He did it for 7. How is that done so cheap? I have a feeling it's probably not using springs. That costs 900 quid. I mean, to get down to seven grand, you're talking about just using that much road. I have a feeling this one's gonna be like, like making a swing. I mean, actually, could I, could I just, could I just make a swing? We are sort of swinging in the right place. It doesn't get hit by the plane. Is it gonna be at the right place? point for the car to get on. Not really. I feel like this might require some tweaking. You know what that means? It's engineering time. You are my engineer, the one I'd buy a beer for. And I say I bridged it that way. But there are architects that stand in the way of us. When I say that I bridged it that way, build a bridge, ain't nothing like a tide arch. Build a bridge, ain't nothing like a cable stay. Build a bridge, I never want to see it sway. So I bridged it that way. 
Okay, my swing didn't really work, but I've come up with this, which... <laughs> is it a bridge? I'm, I'm not really sure. Uh, basically, we've got like a spring support there. We've got some tension underneath. We've got a gap in the bridge. We've still got the spring hanging from above. My thinking was, though, if I have springs on this end and the gap in the middle, maybe I can make my... My thing's smaller. Oh my goodness, I'm 63rd. That ain't too bad. How did Tyler do again? Oh, what? He must have done a swing. I'm pretty sure he did a swing. But yeah, I was thinking if I make these edges springs, then I should be able to like raise this one. And raising that lowers the price. The trouble is it also makes it a bit harder for my car to hit the start. So unfortunately, I think Tyler's going to have me beat because I literally don't have the patience to get a swing to work. This is the cheapest I can come up with. And I'm not proud of myself as it is. Still 57th in the world. Nothing to be ashamed of. Let's go have a look in the gallery at the cheapest. What is that? <laughs> what is that? I should have thought. Yeah, I should have really thought about cheesing it like this. I mean, I don't like to cheese things. So this one, similar sort of thing. It's all about putting the gaps between the roads. That's how you get the dangle to work. But yeah, everyone just did different methods of sort of like hanging from above. There's no there's no swings. Maybe I was completely wrong with the swing. I'm glad I didn't spend too much time doing it then. But like these are way cheaper than mine. Anyway, that one's actually quite similar, although they don't have spring supports on either side. Oh, that one's actually very... That's almost identical. Oh, what? Nifty? The Nifty sponsored solution is basically my solution. Does that mean me and Nifty are the same person and I've been promoting my own drink this whole time? Nah, it's probably just coincidence. Anyway, let's go to the highest budget. And what do we have here, Alan? Alan! Oh, Alan. Alan. <laughs> Alan! Alan! Anyway, DJ the dentist, he's got high type. But that's, that's not how you spell RCE. You've you've put the R at the end, the E next to it, and you've accidentally put a T, Y, and an L instead of a C. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> not sure what to make about that. Anyway, let's cheer myself up with some RCE propaganda. That's what we like to see. And what is going on? What is actually going on here? <laughs> what is that bit underneath? There's so much springage going on. Is that bit underneath actually doing anything? Surely not. Anyway, more RCE propaganda. Oh, thank you all. A lot of spring usage. Uh, I'm quite glad springs are back, actually. It's like a new sort of way to cheese stuff. I don't know what that is down. Is that like a snail coming up the side or something? Anyway, the next level is called Splashdown. So what do we have here? I can only build within this square. Uh, presumably, this is going to show me what's going to happen with this. I think I can sort of tell. I think this block is going to drop down. That's why there's spring there and then that's the road on top so if we press play boosh yeah then that can drive on top okay so we just got to do similar for the bit over here so that doesn't happen to him now on this side we have a bit of water usage on our side i'm tempted just to copy that and then just see what would happen if we oh my goodness ours is a lot lower than it needs to be right now <laughs> Okay, well, I won't lie. This is actually going to be quite a cool level. So what I'm thinking, let's put the road in first. We can definitely get away with just four bits of road. And then, oh, this is going to have to be so high. It's going to have to be like that tall, isn't it? I think we'll need springs sort of like that. Maybe a rope to hold them together. So hopefully that will be our shock absorber. Maybe we can get away with just doing wood for everything else. Okay, so that looks pretty good. Let's press play and then... Hmm, not sure that's going to work as a bridge. Yep, I was right. Okay, if we watch this in slow motion, what actually... Oh my god, the springs just get flattened. So I think the springs probably need to go vertically rather than angled. So perhaps if we do that, that, would that be better? Let's just have a look. Sploosh. Oof. Okay, I feel like there's potential here. If I just... Add some steel to places where it needs it. Oh, look at that. Look at that. Okay, so that actually worked. It's just a little bit too high. Uh, so basically, let's just bring some nodes down a bit. Okay, I'll tell you what. That's looking pretty good. I'm just a bit worried about the weight. Oh, no. <laughs> 
Oh, no. Yeah, because you can't just be strong enough to support the crash. You need to actually support the vehicle as well. So let's let's add some more nodes. So hopefully that should be a bit more secure. Oh, oh what? Oh, no. Okay, so too much rotation. We may need an extra spring like there. That could stop it like rotating. I may need another one down there. Let's have a look. Ooh, yeah, actually, if we just lift up this side, this could work. This could work. So you can see this right end is higher, but it is going to sort of rotate, meaning... Oh, that was close. That was actually close. All right, so how's this? This end is much higher. Yes. Okay, it's on. Oh, we did have some breaks. But I look at that. We're, we're under half budget. Just need to make it a little bit stronger. And it seems the more steel I add, <laughs> the weaker it gets. Yeah, presumably that's because steel is a lot, a lot heavier than the wood. Let's just try moving these to the right a bit and potentially lifting that up yeah i feel like that's probably all i needed to do could i get rid of that one? Oh yeah okay now now we're talking can i get rid of that spring there um only if i want the entire bridge to this bit okay but now you can see this is like way higher than it needs to be so again i can lower these to save the amount of material we're using can then potentially lose a few bits in here that aren't really needed swap the rope pieces with wood bring all these in a bit and then suddenly we're under 20 grand which although a lot of money might be enough to oh we're in the top six percent not ideal we still got a long way to go what are the top scores 11 grand and that's half what I've got. Did we beat Tyler? Okay, we smashed Tyler. Part of my daily routine at the moment. But to be honest, I don't want to embarrass Tyler any more than I already have. So let's just have a look in the gallery at the lowest budget and see how I could have done it for 12 grand. Oh, look, there's a hinge in the middle. It can be a flexible bridge. Yeah, oh, wow, that one. Yes, yeah, so this is another one. You can really see the flex there. Flexible bridges are your friend, remember? Yeah, then there's some more rigid ones, which sort of work. I don't get how that's so much cheaper than mine. I guess they just use a lot less pieces of wood. But yeah, cool level that. Making a spring dampener. Let's have a look <laughs> at the most expensive. Oh, it's Alan again. Alan, you're obsessed, mate. Alan! Absolutely obsessed with the RCE propaganda and whatever that's meant to be. Uh, pudding absolutely loving the springs look at the star layout of their truss i'm intrigued to see how bouncy this is going to be uh, oh it's like a memory foam mattress like it goes back to its normal shape instantly uh, <laughs> we have some quite complicated stuff going on there there was rce propaganda but it got obliterated on the on the impact at the bottom oh this one it's got like two layers of spring look that bit in the middle has its own its own dampening in there it must be the smoothest bridge to drive across ever all right this one Oh, look at that. They've got the, the weight hanging in there. And because that's a really large weight, it's quite heavy. And I, can't, I can't do this. I can't. <laughs> Especially with that name. Quick, quick. Move on to the next one. Move on to the next one. Ah, oh, back to classic RCE propaganda. That's a little bit squiggly. And this one. Oh, the legendary. The mythical. The spring diamond muscle. Ooh, I've heard about this. <laughs> <laughs> I never thought I'd see one in the wild. Anyway, we're three levels in. I have missed the springs, I'm not going to lie. But for now, I'll say peace, love, and bridges. Bye, guys.